We're uh, taxiing, we're second in line for takeoff. I'm ready. It's gone! In a good way. Hey guys, it's uh, Matt here from HobbyKing.com. Uh, it's time for our weekly update. And you may be wondering, what am I doing? Well, we're filming a promo for these die-cast models and I'm gonna make them look like they're flying. So I've got some uh, fishing line here. The next part of doing this is a green screen. Um, we ordered one and we've been waiting days for it to arrive. But since we wanna keep going and we've gotta finish this video, we are improvising with some green cardboard. Rolling now. Okay, so it's 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon and the green screen has arrived. Ha! Ah, and it's just in time for us to do the littlest plane that we have. <laughs> I think it might, I think it might cover it. Okay. Whoa. Damn. I wasn't expecting that. So in the history of overkills, this is right up there. I mean, it's all, I mean, yeah, this is the one we could have done with a piece of cardboard. And this is the one we have our green screen for. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you one of the compositions from what we just filmed. Uh, so here we have the, um, back when we're filming with the cardboard. And then once we've keyed it out and masked out the stuff we don't want, we can put it in our final composition and added the jet streams and I've added in the background and some clouds to just sort of blend it all in and give it a 3D, 3D environment feel. And then when that's all rendered out, it uh, looks like this. Okay, that's what we're working on today. Um, all right, that's uh, over to you, James. Hey guys, weekly update time, pouring rain outside, and if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you might have seen a tease. Uh, Alex Davis here, works in the RMA department, and RMA Sky Mule came in. He figured, why not take it and make it something maybe better or something crazy? And this is what she will be. Might as well do the build. So you're just thinking hot glue is gonna be enough. I think so. Enough think reinforcement so? plates and hot glue. We got this. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Battery, 6006S. Yeah, we're gonna go 6006S. 6006S. In a sky mil mule. Fans. This is gonna be like a sky horse. Feel how solid that is. Feel. Feel how solid? Wow. Wow. Hot glue's no joke. Wow, I got no movement. No movement. Rattle it up. Wow. Right. Wow. So show me a little bit. Two different ESCs here. <laughs> we went with what we had. Went with what we had. It wasn't much, but we made it work. <laughs> we don't make too many EDF jets. <laughs> so uh, I made this extension because the uh, ESCs are going to be on the wings. We're going to run the battery up front. Nice. Should be interesting. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna fly, or it's gonna fail. It'll fly. It's gonna fly. <laughs> It'll fly. I'll make it fly. We're uh, taxiing. We're second in line for takeoff. I'm ready. It's gone! In a good way. 
Get some EDFs on your Sky Mule. Coming for a nice low pass, straight for the runway. battery check that whole flight 62 percent 62 percent we're, we're up for a good four minutes we're still five minutes yeah we still have 23 volts <laughs> six thousand six s that's unbelievable man How did you, oh, wow, that's... it's really easy what i did it was very simple i didn't really go crazy at all just one side and one top. side yeah so uh, i pushed this in to the carbon spar just like fill that with hot glue literally hot glue hot glue yeah hot glue everything's hot glue nice <laughs> edf's hot glued under here's hot glued hot glued escs are hot glued we have two different escs because we didn't <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have enough we wanted to see what the was gonna last yeah <laughs> they weren't even hot fly beam landing gear yeah we put like fly beam landing gear on it and it's just foam so i put like a like a wood block like this, like a, like a piece of wood, plywood to spread that load, you know? You know, probably the tons of struts might work here though. That's exactly what I was thinking, because I think we have extra ones that work. Uh -huh. I just put them in here and yeah. and then I, I built a, like a Y harness. Okay. It has two XT60s to yeah. plug into each one of the, and I just soldered on these and this. <laughs> Going up again? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Did not expect it to fly as well as it did guys back in the studio I got the new EDF sky mule here on the table and uh, it's always fun to be able to get a chance to do something like this just take a product that comes one way and then turn it into something else entirely and uh, I think Alex did a pretty good job for uh, a little bit of hot glue and uh, about a day's worth of work we were running this thing on a 6,000 graphene uh, 6s and he could have flown it for 10 minutes uh, we put it up for about five minutes the first time landed it you saw it came in about 62% left of the battery life and then he went up for another five minutes on it and we thought the landing gear might be too small because it does have a lot of weight to it this thing so I thought maybe the landing gear was gonna flex or break when he landed it but he's an excellent pilot and he makes it probably look easier than it should be but always fun to do but that will about do it for this week's weekly update I want to thank Matt and Michael over in Australia great work on the Gemini Jets video we can't wait to see more of that content coming from you guys and as far as us we are full on Joe Nalmo now we are just two weeks away from heading down to uh, South Carolina for Joe Nile 2017 and we're super excited the office is a complete mess I've been taking apart planes starting to get things boxed up get things ready to go down there look out for a video next week either Monday or Tuesday I'll put out a video uh, detailing everything you can expect to see from us down at Joe Nile as far as some of our display models some of the fun we're gonna have we're gonna have an auction so definitely bring some cash there and we're going to have uh, the first ever raffle. So we're going to be bringing about 10 models with the goal of raffling them off early in the week. But again, more information coming next week. So that'll do it this week for this week's weekly update. We thank you for joining and we'll see you next time.